this week. Must have been good coming in after that performance last week. Great result in the Cup. Yeah, well, it was a lot better than coming in after the Celtic game, put it that way. But, no, really proud of the players last week and the way they, the way they dictated that game. And, uh, a mad amount of corners. I think it was 17 or 18. We scored off for 15. And what does that show? Well, it shows that we're attacking teams and we're, we're playing in their half and, and having a go, which you need to do at home regardless of who you're playing against and excite the fans, which I think we've done. So, no, it was really good and convincing performance, but that was a cup game. It's back to league business now. How, how has that affected the training this week, coming in with, obviously, a, a win under the belt into the next round of the cup? How does that affect the training, getting back to the league for this week's game against Hibs? I don't think it's too much of an effect, just like the Celtic game did. It. Because we were on a... I say, the Celtic game gave us a shock. Now... That was our third defeat in 19, and now we've got three defeats in 20. It's something I'm proud of. I know it's different opposition, and we'll keep harping on about it. It is different opposition, but it still is a record to be proud of, and we want to make that three defeats in 21 come Sunday. So it's a group that's used to winning, so we'll beat Motherwell, we come in, and we go on our job of eh, eh, preparing to eh, face Hibs, which, which is going to be a, a really tough game against a, a really good side. It's going to be another big crowd here on Sunday. It's live on the telly. Bigger crowds able to come into the, the, the grounds and things. You must be fairly confident going into this game that Dundee are going to perform really well. Yeah, but look, we're always confident in that, that group. That they're resilient and they're great character in that dressing room. Great experience. Um, mixed with a, a blend of youth and, and energy. So, yeah, we're confident. But we're also facing a very good hip side. We'll get maximum points. We've had a fantastic start to the season. Um, huge respect for the manager and, and the job he's done there. I know that club very well and I know how hard that is. Uh, not as a manager, but I know how hard that is to want to perform at that club and the demands on that club. And, and the Hibs players know that as well. So they're performing for Jack and doing well, but, but our players are performing as well. And they bounce back. That was a, a good thing. They bounce back after a, a real sore one at, at Parkhead and and I think deservedly so, won a, a fantastic cup tie. And as you say, talking about the crowd, we got the crowd excited, and we need to do the same on on Sunday. Because when you get them going, when you get them excited, and it's going to be going to be a lot more here. It's going to be a good away crowd as well. It's going to be it's going to make it a really good atmosphere. And we need to make sure that the noise is coming for the Dundee Dundee fans. And to do that, then we need to be attacking, and we need to be playing football in Hibs half and creating chances and scoring opportunities. Hibs are obviously unbeaten um, for a reason because they're, they're coming in from all angles just now. They've got a good squad obviously from there. That in itself, as I say, how are you going to break that down? How are you going to overcome coming in at all angles basically from you? We, we've got a game plan and, and what we we can do to stop Hibs, but equally so then we've got to look at how we can hurt them. It's, it's, it's the two things you do, you, you build up, you have the defensive day and on, on how you're going to how you're going to deal with the problems you're going to cause you or try and deal with them. Uh, it doesn't always work out the way you think and personnel may change, system may change. We can only go on the things we've seen of, of Hibs and video and I was here on Sunday and they were, they were very impressive, I must say they were good against Kilmarnock. But I think we've got to, we take it more looking at ourselves. Like the playoff games, playing against Premiership opposition, everybody said that how we're going to be going to deal with the threat of Kyle Lafferty and Chris Park. Well, we were more focused on how Paul McMullen and Jordan McGee could hurt Kilmarnock or, or if Jason Cummins had to come off the bench for a goal or Paul McGowan. And so, so how do we break down a, a very good Hibs team? That's what that, that's equally as important as, as what we're going to do to stop them. I'm looking at Dundee uh, for the weekend, how, how is the team uh, and squad building up for the, the weekend? Any doubts or anything coming in there? Yeah, a couple of doubts. Killian is. Killian is training and we'll give him a late fitness test in the morning. He's, he's come back and he's, he's okay. The scan, scan report was very good, so we think we'll have him for tomorrow. Cami will likely be next week, but Cami being Cami still wants a fitness test tomorrow, but I, think, I don't think we'll have that. We'll have the discussion with Jerry and see how he reacts this afternoon and later on tonight. But he's back on, on the grass now as well. So, no, it's, 
after that, Max Anderson's back in. Obviously, Jordan Marshall suspended, but again, that's, that's what happened in football. You, you pick these wee things up, but no, we're, we're confident the squad we've got for for Sunday, and and we're confident that we can get a positive result here. What, what you said there about Cammy kind of typifies the squad that you've got at the moment. It's all about that badge, playing for the badge, getting out there on the pitch. It's, it's such a great atmosphere here at Dens at the moment. It is, and what I'll also say in, in typifies Cammy is Christy Elliott, who was playing, or has played, we, we think we've got it sorted now. The last two games he's been playing with an injury. Um, we took him off at Celtic Park, and then like myself, but at one eleven nobody had a good game at Celtic Park. You could maybe say Sean Burn on the back in COVID was the one that you could pass marks for. Um, but Christie played injured and then you're thinking six 0 is he going to play the following week? No, I'm playing and I thought he done he done well last weekend. Um, part of a back four it had a clean sheet and, and the time I think this week with the chance getting having the extra day with, with the chance to do a wee bit of work going, get something done to, to the injury and he's looked great I must say the last couple of days so credit to him and again that's shown heart because it's, it's just easy to, to throw the towel in when you're injured particularly after a heavy defeat and say no I'm not ready to play the following week. Well he played in front of a, a demanding crowd and was part of a back four that kept out a very good Motherwell side or a very attack minded Motherwell side so but we've got that throughout the squad. We'll play with these niggles, we'll play with these injuries, and that's when it becomes probably the job of Jerry, the doctor, myself, to say Are these injuries going to harm them. Or we show on it with, with the COVID was different, and we knew how much we could get out of Sean, but he battled through 90 minutes at Celtic Park. He had to come off last week because he was just he was running out of the ground. He's now feel, feels fully recovered. But again, he was annoyed at having to come off, annoyed himself that he had to come off. And that Paul McGowan comes on and does a fantastic job. No, nothing about him being left out or no, no problems. He, he accepted the, the decision. Then he comes on and does a great job in a completely different position from where he's been playing recently. So they're, they're all in it together. You can see that. that they're, they're a tight knit group. The ones that have come in have added to that. They've bought into to what we're trying to do. And so see, like if you play like Jordan McGee, who's, who's here at the weekend on 13k, they're covering phenomenal distances and they're, they're working for one another um, all over the pitch. And, and we're going to need that going forward. The fans love to see that. That's what, that's what gets the fans going. The chances you create, the 18 or 17, 18, 19 corners. Charlie has three shots in the game. Jason's a goal that's marginally offside. Get some off their seats. We need that on Sunday. And we believe that if we, if we play to our strengths and play the way we can play, then we'll, we'll certainly get a positive result. I know we've asked the question several times over about opportunities to, to have a look at new players coming in. There's 11 days left in the transfer window. Are you planning to, to look at anybody else over the, the coming weeks? Yes. Yeah. Not wanting to expand on that in any way at all. No. Depart not with who it is, but maybe departments. Is it a, a striker that you're looking at, a defender, a midfielder? No, we never do come out. Um, we keep everything as close as we can. It normally does get leaked, but well, that's just modern day with technology and social media nowadays. But no, well, there's a lot of work going on in the background, put it that way. Hibs coming up on Sunday, live TV game. Yep. Must be looking forward to it. Yes. Another massive game for us, game that we're all looking forward to and hopefully we can put in a, another good performance like we did last Saturday against Motherwell. I mean, what, what can you say about that performance? It was a fantastic effort by the whole team last week against Motherwell. Will you be looking for the same again? Yeah, I think we did. We needed a reaction after the week before going to Celtic. We, we knew we, we let our standards drop and we made it easy for Celtic. So to come back with that sort of performance shows that there's a lot of character and, and we're obviously desperate to put it right against Motherwell and we've definitely done that. One of the things that is going to come up week in week out now is that there are no easy games in this league. Every game is going to be like a cup final for Dundee. How important is it to stay focused on each game as it comes to you? Yeah, we can't look too far ahead because the next match is always the most important one. Um, I think, as you said, every every game is tough. You think you're going to have to fight and scrap for, for every point in this league. So we're looking forward to that challenge and hopefully we can 
get another good result on Sunday. And restrictions are off with the, the crowd, so likely to see more people here again yeah. at Dens Park this week. That must be a huge boost for the players as they come out onto the park. No, Saturday was electric, to be honest. I think having like fans on both sides um, was brilliant. And that, that, does it lift you that extra wee bit when you're tired in a game or maybe the team's on top of you? But um, no, that, they definitely help the fans and it, it feels like proper games of football again. And, and again, with away fans being into the grounds these days, it makes a big difference there as well. Because you, you need a wee bit of, without the fans, there is no football. No, 100%. I think Hibs will bring a, a good crowd on, on Sunday as well. And as you said, the atmosphere is massive for the players. And you enjoy that sort of banter with, the, with both fans and stuff like that as well. So, no, it's one of those players that we're all looking forward to. What sort of game are you expecting to, to come up against when you face Hibs this weekend? Uh, a really tough game. I think they've got a lot of quality players and in every position, um, so we know we're going to have to be at our best to, to get a result on Sunday, but we're looking to cause them a lot of problems as well. Again, as you said, a number of players obviously likely to cause concerns to Dundee. There, anyone in particular that you, you think you should be looking out for especially? Uh, just the usual sort of Nisbet and Boyle, they two are ones that spring to mind straight away. Uh, I think they're a handful for any, any team in this league, no matter who they play against, so we're going to have to be at our best to, to stop them. And uh, last one from uh, myself at the moment. Uh, again, it's, it's going back to how things have been uh, this week in training. It, it must be easier to come into training on a weekly basis when you've just had a result like you had last week. Yeah, 100% you, you do. You win. Obviously, after the defeat, you come in, you're a wee bit down in the dumps and stuff. But um, obviously, coming in on uh, Monday there, we're all buzzing and really looking forward to the next game again.